What's up you guys, it is Stemmeister 45 here and in this video I'm going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time and talk to you guys and make a video about how to root the Cherry Moba Emerald. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is the phone itself, this is the real thing, this is not a fake, you guys can see here it says Emerald, here it says Cherry Moba at the bottom. Yes guys, this is the real Cherry Moba Emerald. And I'll go into my about phone here as you guys can see the model number is S710 and if you search it up online that is the model number for the Cherry Mobile Emerald so yes guys this is the real Cherry Mobile Emerald okay so before you do this you will need to make sure that you have two of these apps right here called King Root and Root Checker and I left links to them in the video description below for you guys to check out and download them right away once you've already downloaded them um, in any browser you're using like um, for example I'm just gonna go to Chrome here for example and once you've opened up the links to both of these apps hold on guys my internet's a bit slow here Okay, so once you get to the page for both of those apps that I left in the video description below, just clap, just clap, just tap the blue icon here that says download. Just go ahead and tap it right there. Then it will ask you if you want to download it. Just go ahead and download it. Depending on your browser, that may vary. So make sure you know how to, you know, download files in your specific browser. Then once you've downloaded them and everything like that go ahead and go into any file manager you're using or and hold on guys before you do that you'll also need to go into your setting to your settings then in security and then you have to make sure that unknown sources is checked so you can go ahead and install the apps right then and there then once you've done that once you make sure that it's checked in your settings Hold on guys, my phone is a bit slow right now, I don't know why. Oh, uh, actually it's like that sometimes, but uh, yeah. But anyways, yeah, once you've downloaded the, the two files that I left in the video description below, go ahead and go into any file manager you're using. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea why this is happening. Anyways, guys, yeah, so once you've downloaded them, go into any file manager you're using. I'm just going, I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the stock file manager for just for you know this example. Hold on, guys, I have a code here. Then, if you're gonna use this one, it'll go straight to your SD card. So, make sure you tap SD card. Then, scroll all the way down to where it says downloads. And then, once you've done that, you'll find the APK right there. Just go ahead and tap it. Then, tap install. And then, wait for it to finish installing. And then, once one of the apps finish downloading, tap done. Then, go to the next one and install it and go into the next one and install it from there and then once that also finishes installing go ahead and tap done and make sure you delete both of those files because you won't need them anymore and your if you're using an antivirus on your phone it may detect some malware it may tell you that it's not allowed and it might get deleted it has malware so be sure you turn off your antivirus before you install these apps and then once you make sure you install both of them go ahead and open the king root app and then wait for it to load up because it does take some time especially if you're doing a lot on the phone then once you're up at this screen you'll notice a green button right here and since I'm already done rooting, you just go ahead and tap it. Then once you've tapped it, you will see a lock sign on it. That will just tell you that you haven't rooted it yet. That it's not rooted yet. 
so you have to tap that icon and then wait for the spinning wheel to just spin around and just do its thing and if you get another prompt that says two to five or three to five in the circle just go ahead and tap it again then once you've tapped it again it will automatically reboot itself the phone will automatically reboot without you you know doing anything then once it does finish rebooting And then once it does finish rebooting, you should have a new app inside your app drawer called King User. As long as you see this app, you are fully rooted, but just to make sure you're right, you can go ahead and go back into the King Root app. You can go ahead and go back into the King Root app itself. And if you see a check mark on it, then yeah, that basically means you're fully rooted, just like this. If you see it spinning and you see a check mark right here, that means you're already fully rooted, so that's fine. And then once you see this King User app inside your app drawer, you can go ahead and open it. And in case it's off, go ahead and tap the settings icon at the top right and make sure boot permissions is on. Make sure all this stuff is on right here. And you can change it to do whatever you want. You can change it for smart authoriz authorization. You can change how long the authorization will count down to, whether it's 30 seconds, 10 seconds, or 20 seconds. You can do that. And you can choose which one you want it to do, to whether you want that countdown to be on the allow prompt or the deny prompt, whichever you want. And you can back up your root permissions. And if you tap remove root permissions, it's basically just unrooting the phone. Then. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and go into the other app that we downloaded called Root Checker Basic. Then once you're inside this app, you'll have to tap allow and all that stuff, agree with terms in use. Then once you're up at this screen, tap verify root, and then it should ask you for root permissions. It just make sure you tap allow. Then once you made sure you tapped allow, then that's it really. You sh should have root and from there that's it really and sometimes it may not recognize it right away you might get something like this that says you might get something like this that says second attempt it's still trying to verify root you might get something like this if you don't do not worry it is totally normal it you should root permissions from this um, kind of method usually doesn't work very well as I've tested before because I had to do this a lot to get this root to work so yeah that's that and but well, once you made sure that you've already tapped it that you've already verified root and you allowed it super user permissions then that is totally okay guys you are fully rooted and from there that's it really now you can do plenty of stuff you can download apps you can download games that require root you can download tweaks uh, there's plenty of things you can do, so if you want to check out my video on what rooting is all about, be sure to check the link in the video description below where I talk to you guys about rooting, what it does, all that stuff. And that's it guys, that's how to root the Cherry Mobile Emerald. So if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up because that will definitely help me out. And if you have any suggestions on what I should do next, or if you have problems with rooting this phone whatsoever, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And while you're at it, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I got tons of more content coming your way. I release a new video every Saturday and Sunday. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I left all those links in the video description below. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Demisa45, signing off.